La Brujaha, thank you for a $5 super chat. What are your tips for an externally mounted TXRX antennas for following a car that I'm riding shotgun in? Google radio, goggle radio mounted works, but it's so risky. Why is it risky? How far are you going to be from the car? Like, obviously, being inside the car gives you reduced range. But, like, how far are you going to be from the car that it really matters? Most people who fly from the inside of a moving car and chase the car, or maybe they're chasing a car that's just ahead of them and they're in the chase car, most people just have goggles on their head and, and, a, and a controller in their lap, and they're not far enough away for it to really matter. So that would be my advice that to you general tips i would just say if you are going to do something like that make sure you get good gear because you're going to have so much loss on those cables you got to have the right cables you well that's the other thing correctly. that's the other thing so you could get uh an antenna cable and put your antennas remote mounted on top of the car the cables themselves have loss so it's easy to imagine a situation where you've got a five foot or a six foot antenna cable and that's actually more loss than the body of the car so I wouldn't stress He that. says, I, I get a half mile to a bad signal. Do you need to be a half mile away from the car that you're riding in? What are you doing? I mean, uh, apparently you do. <laughs> um, if I were really going to do that, I'll tell you what I would really do. You're not going to like the answer, but here's what I would do. This is what I would use for real. This is a fiber optic transmission module. And to you understand how it works, like if we zoom in, can I zoom in on this? There we go. It's not a great picture, but you'll get the gist. Ground, VCC, video, so analog video, TX and RX. What you do is you build a module. You have a TBS Fusion analog module in a 3D printed box or something like that. It's got two antennas on it, okay? And you have a Radio Master module, your Express OS module, and it's in the box. And you wire those things into this fiber optic module, okay? You have another fiber optic module in the car and it spits those signals out and they go into your goggles and into your, into your controller. And now you have zero loss. You could put your receiver, you could put your module and your video receiver, your TBS Fusion, you could put them two kilometers away with a long enough length of fiber with zero loss. I would buy one of these. This is 15 bucks, 16 bucks for one. You actually need a pair. You need a pair. I think the pair is not, this pair is, one of them is $16. A pair is $72. Tell me how that math works. This is what you need, though. And then you need a length of fiber. Now, if you're just inside a car, you get a 10-foot length of fiber. Maybe you get a nice jacketed fiber so it's not really fragile. And then you have to build a little standalone box that mounts on the, on the roof of the car. And it's got your analog receiver module and your Radio Master Express OS module or whatever you're using. And they wire into this. And then this wires into the back of the, the module bay on the controller and into your goggles and bing, bang, bong, zero loss. That's the actual way I would do it. Other, other solution somebody in chat mentioned was you could mount the VRX outside of the car and then run an HDMI cable in. Uh, well, or just an AV cable, a three right. point, you know, just an RCA cable. So if you didn't care... Uh, I mean, well, okay, so leave it to me to do the most technologically complicated way. Frankly, if you're just trying to go six feet, what you could probably do is get a length of Cat6 Ethernet cable, connect the video wire to one of the pairs, and connect the TX and the RX. Literally, you're not doing Ethernet. You're just using it as a nice, nice comp compact length of cable. And you connect power, ground, you got, you got eight pairs or get four pairs, eight wires, power, ground, video, TX, RX, et cetera, right? And you literally just run that six foot length of cable inside the car, basically zero loss. But the downside is that those signals are not meant, especially the, the, the TX and the RX, they're not meant to 
go that long. And that cable, uh, if it gets more than, I don't know how long, maybe, maybe six feet would be okay though. So you could skip the whole fiber optic bullshit. Although why would you want to? Fiber optic is cool, <laughs> but you could probably just do that with a length of wire. Um, but the key thing is you're extending, you're not extending the antenna cables. You're putting the receiver and the transmitter outside the car and you're extending the, the crossfire signal and the video and the, you know, the CVBS video signal and the power on the ground so that you're not getting any loss. But I would do it with fiber optic cable because then, I mean, theoretically, I could put this thing, I could put this thing a thousand meters away if I wanted to. And that something about that just makes my little heart go pitter patter. So even check this out, check this out. Look at this. There's a version that has HDMI. Shut up. You got an HDMI in, you got a Crossfire, or you got a UART in, basically. It can be Crossfire or SBUS. So you got your control link and you got HDMI, and then it spits it out the fiber and it comes out the other side. <laughs> you could do this with a digital system. That's hot. That's hot. 100 bucks. I don't know. Something about that just appeals to me.